Tell me the case for atheism. For atheism? Yes. Well, I'm an agnostic, so... Oh, then tell me what it's like to not know. To not know? Uh, I mean, you, you kind of know it already, except that you won't accept it. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That's my point. <laughs> so, you, so those who deny Christ don't have the Holy Spirit, that's what we're told in the Scripture. Well, there's simply no proof that the Holy Spirit exists. Why it's do you need proof? If, do you have proof of your mother's love? Yeah. Like, do you have physical acts, but the feeling that you get when your mother, like when you're a child, when your knee is hurt and you cuddle your mother, yeah. That feeling, yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. prove that to me. You can't yeah, prove to me. Sh show me it. Let me see it. No, I can't prove it to you because you know how it is to be uh, hugged by somebody who you like. Well, I was created and that's the same thing. I, I'm a sociopath. I don't have those bits. Tell well, in that case, it. your sense of self is not the same as mine. You know, if but you're I would a like sociopath. You to prove the unseen. You to prove what? The unseen. The unseen. Your feeling is unseen by me. Yeah, but the feeling it actually exists. It's a How chemical reaction. How do you know reaction. it's not a false memory? It, it's a chemical How reaction. How do you know it's not a false memory? Okay, look, you can see electrical currents, except that you can't see it by the naked eye. Yes. You can't see the power of God. You can't see God. Uh, God is yes, not like electricity. Yes, you can. If you were in Palestine uh, you 2,000 God? something years ago, you would have seen God walking among men. No, hold on. But that's something that you believe in. That's not something you but have to But you're referencing the Holy Spirit. So you believe in a triunity or some form of plurality within God no, that you can't see. I simply see. don't believe in God. But you're asserting to me that the unseen is knowable. Is no, that right? I'm asserting to you that uh, the things, for example, like love, you know, like a chemical reaction yes. or like an uh, electrical current in the brain is not something unseen. It's something you can uh, see, but just not with naked eye. You know what I mean? Now, exactly. God, and God is can't be seen. Yes, he can. Right, Ben, oh. you're, you're talking about proof. Proof God exists. Would you not agree that proof presupposes truth, and therefore truth presupposes the existence of God? Because without God, there's no such thing as truth. Stuff just happens. Would you agree? Nothing wants Would you, would you agree that truth pres Proof presupposes truth, truth presupposes God, because without God, there's nothing true, stuff just happens. So you're asking you're assuming that there's an absolute idea of truth from which you can begin. So you don't believe that absolute truth. Hold on, hold on. There's right. simply no way yeah, for us to perceive an absolute truth. There might be an absolute reality that uh, is the same for everybody, okay. but we can't perceive it because all the information we have comes to us through our senses and thus seeing that it's filtered and corrupted so by our senses. Do you believe senses, absolute truth? It might exist. I'm not going to ask you why. Do you believe in absolute truth? Yes, you I believe it. Yeah. Well, I believe it might exist. You don't just say no, it's fine. <laughs> no, look, man. The thing is, you're so looking you, for you're absolute the, faith. No, no, the problem, the problem is you're, no, 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 you're, you're looking you're, for absolute you're, faith you're, when, you know, you convince yourself that you got the answer. When in reality, you don't have enough proof to get no, the, the answer. Problem, right? the, so you keep going back to this word proof. Proof, trees of proof presupposes truth, truth presupposes God, because without God there's nothing true, stuff just happens. And the reason you won't say, no, and, and proof one, second, one second, one second, probability. You, you, no, you, you got stuck a moment ago because you're saying it right. might exist. Because if you know, if you take the consistent root of your belief and say that um, absolute truth mm -hmm. doesn't exist, that's a contradictory statement. Because to say absolute truth doesn't exist, you are at least saying it's absolutely true, that absolute truth doesn't exist, which is contradictory, which is your own view. Sure, not space. really. What I mean is, I can't perceive the absolute truth. So I can't assert whether it exists or not. So you can't be certain. It's about an it. assumption. Okay, so you can't be certain about anything. Really. Of course not. Okay, see that's again contradictory. Mm -hmm. To say I can't, to, 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 be say, to say I can't be certain about anything. I've heard this argument so many second. times no, that it, it just it's just right, that. Refute, it easily. Go ahead, go ahead. If it's that easy, refute it. So he just said that you can't be certain about anything. To say I can't be certain about anything is a contradictory statement because you are at least saying I can be certain that I can't be certain about anything so your, your, your comment is contradictory which again is the worldview you're holding on to the worldview you're holding on to is inconsistent and contradictory because without God there is no such thing as truth there is no such thing as proof because proof presupposes truth truth presupposes God you're, you're stuck in a circle you should be one of those, in those commercials where you speak real fast and you, know, you say a lot of information but then people don't understand well, answer it. Information. Answer it. I'll answer it I'll answer it you know, I've heard this argument many times from many Muslims in the park because they're <coughs> usually the ones who give this argument. Okay. That are you certain that nothing is certain? And my answer is no. And they laugh because ah, ha, ha, if you're not certain, uh, then it, it you know contradicts itself. But it doesn't because what we have is approximations to a reality that we don't understand. You know, me saying that nothing can be we can't be certain of anything is uncertain because I'm not a perfect person. I don't have absolute knowledge. 
and seeing that I can't possess that absolute knowledge, I can't say that my assumption about uncertainty is certain. Do you understand the problem here? Because you're looking for certain knowledge from me when you don't have either. You don't have certain knowledge either. You you can't tell yourself or tell about that. that you got all <laughs> because, the... Again, it's no, I'm not. I'm not. He's saying... No, he's saying it's not, no, that's the you, thing. That's, that's my point. Hold on. Let me finish. No, hold on. I'll let you finish. Let me finish. You guys are coming from the supposition that you can say something with absolute certainty. Yes. Without actually needing any I proof, can. but you can't. So this can. can't make any sense. No, so this this is contradictory. Right. You're saying you're 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 certain you can say something with certainty, but you can't. You're saying you're certain that we can't say anything with no, certainty. No, I'm not saying I'm it's certain. Your whole I'm car, saying what well, I'm saying. Don't. Don't. Has more I, 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 I than what you're saying. Your, okay. your, your whole your whole entire argument is contradictory. You're saying that I can't be certain about anything. But then you're but, 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 but then you, but then you're saying you can't be certain that. You, be certain about anything, which again is a is, is a is a, a, a certain claim. You're saying I'm certain, you can't be certain, you can't be certain about anything. It doesn't make sense. Your whole entire argument is contradictory. And no, there's a really excuse me, gentlemen. Okay, I did yeah, start this. Yeah. And your assertion that you have probability implies uncertainty because probability is just uh, on a scale. Absolute truth, which I can assert because I will assert it because I am able to assert it and I have the proof in my heart where you can't see it but you assert, you assert that it is true how can you assert that to your truth uh, because jesus christ told me he is the truth and he has never lied i've okay. never found yes. him hold on hold on okay. i've okay. never found him to be dishonest or misleading or an interpreter of nonsense he's not a god of confusion <laughs> he speaks clearly to me through the holy spirit and mm -hmm. i have that certainty because on judgment day i'm certain that i don't want to be standing there with probability mm -hmm. So you assert absolute truth because you choose to believe in absolute truth, not because it I'm actually exists. I'm not the exists. only one. Well, exactly. So on, a probability, on, on a probability scale, there you are two, choose to assert excuse me, on a probability scale, there are 1.6 billion, billion Muslims who so assert, there we go. we're going who for, assert, we're, we're, going for we're talking numbers. probability. You brought up statistics, I'm giving well, you lecture, but you're stopping All me from those speaking people, because it shakes your okay, argument. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, right, so, right. 2.2 billion Christians, 1.6 billion Muslims, that's 3.8 billion people on the planet who assert absolute truth. Then there are Gnostics who actually assert a truth. There are atheists who also assert an absolute truth, the non-existence of God. The Buddhists, the Jainists, the, like it just is endless. A, every human being asserts there is a subjective absolute truth and I, I assert also an objective moral standard of perfection, which is true. Um, yeah, so you're, 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 so you're, you're, you're passing to him instead no, of passing you're, you're to me. You're, okay. arguing, you're arguing against absolute truth. No problem. Well, that's true. Is, 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 is the Trinity. Is it absolutely true that rape is wrong? So, so in some cases, rape is okay. In some, cer in some circumstances, and this, this, is, this is a constant. No, 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 one second, one second, one second. You see, he's got trapped. I'm going to point you out another reason. You didn't get trapped. One second, let me finish. It's funny because you think that you got trapped. Let me finish. You're saying that it's not always okay for rape to be wrong, okay? Now, let, let, me, let me ask this. If, if, if three big men was to come and rape you, you'd say it's wrong, would you not? Yes? <laughs> yes. More okay. forcefully than more, that. More, more, more okay, inconsistency. Yeah? He's saying okay, rape isn't look, always look. wrong. If they rape me, it's wrong. So gonna, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. Are you, are you, are you finished? Spoiler alert. Okay, it's not going to be good for me. Everything, all kinds of morality we have is what's good for us. And what's good for us is to improve society because society is good for us. And therefore, no, 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 oh, oh, oh. Which is no, that's good. No, 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 Everything, that's what you guys, that's what religious people always deny. Every single small part, small part of morality is what's good for me. And what's good for me is to contribute for society because society contributes back for me and I'm not going to contribute to society if it wants to destroy me. Okay, if that's the you case. Are, no. There you go, there you go. And then you give me these loaded questions. Like, do you think rape is wrong? <laughs> Absolutely it's standard. wrong. For me, he said it's absolutely for wrong. Me. But a moment ago, for there's no me. such thing as absolute truth. For me, for me. Oh my gosh, who is it? Can you hear for? me? Can you guys hear me? Yes. I don't think you can hear me. I can hear you. I for can't me. hear any absolute sense. Because you can't listen. I know what you think. There's an means. absolute, you know, transcendent idea. Yes. Rape is wrong. There isn't. There it's is wrong absolute morality. Because it's not yes, beneficial. There is. There isn't. Oh, no there's the genetic morality, which is to avoid pain. You know, all living beings, they don't hurt other That's beings for no reality. reason. 
Yes, yes, so the only morality that actually exists. No, sadomasochists don't have that. No, I know you don't believe in evolution, so you won't believe in what I'm saying. Masochists enjoy pain. No, Pablo, yeah, but masochists are, uh, you know, self-destructive uh, mutation. No, 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 your, your, your argument again is inconsistent. You're saying it's, there's no, for one, you're saying there's no such thing as absolute truth. Yeah. Then you're saying it's not absolutely true that rape is wrong, which is an absolute statement. So again, you're contradicting yourself there. And then to say it's okay for me, well, okay, for the rapists, it might be okay for them. It might be good for them. Exactly. It, it will fulfill their sexual lusts. So there, seems, so, there seems, so there seems to be a tension there. If morality is just subjective, you're saying it's wrong, they're saying it's right, which one is, which one is right? Because you might, ultimately, you're making the argument that we should do what uh, causes pleasure and shun what causes us pain. For them, it causes pleasure, no, to, for, them it causes, for them, it causes pleasure to rape you. Let's say now, for example, if, 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 for example, if, for example, society makes the rules and might make the right, we follow the rules, that society makes the rebel of that. Okay, in Nazi Germany, when they were killing the Jews, we said that's wrong to do. If, Next if, thing you'll if, if, he'll ask me, was if, killing the Jews okay? If, if, society, if, right? if, if, society, if society says this is the way we should go and we follow, follow that as a general consensus, we should, have, we we should, have, left, we should have left Nazi Germany to it. The no answer is, was it okay for the Nazis to kill the Jews? Yes or no? Was it right for them to do in their society? Was it right for them to do that in that society? Hold yes, on, do I have an opportunity to elaborate the answer? Yes, of course not. Here, shows it's not. Not. The, floor, the floor is yours. Okay, let's go, let's go. Excellent. So if the Nazis won, if the Nazis took over the world, they would dictate the new sense of justice that humans would have. Yes, they would. The Nazis had a self-destructive ideology, and that's why I think that they didn't win. Yeah. That's why they didn't win, because killing people based on race is self-destructive. It's not something beneficial for humanity, and it's not something beneficial for even a specific people like the Nazis. Imagine they won the war. After the war was won, they would start uh, purging people inside of their own race. I imagine the Germanic race was yeah. the only one left. With an ideology like that, which is self-destructive, they would start killing people with specific traits. Like, for example, with a nose that is a little bit too wide, with a hair that's not the right shade, with eyes that are too big or you too small. You would have been fine, don't they, panic. Probably not. <laughs> I probably wouldn't okay, be fine. Otherwise. Because they would eventually start reducing the pool of people that are worthy to exist more and more and more and more. Until humanity you would uh, basically more, become more, more you know, incestuous. Okay. More and it would stop Can I stop say existing. something? Okay, so if... It doesn't mean there's an absolute idea. Okay, if I'm... But that's an absolute statement. If, gentlemen, it's absolute gentlemen, statement. It's a statement to if... Hey, no, right! Why, you are, you are why would you trust me to know an absolute truth? Am I God? It's my turn. Am I God, by any chance? I'll ask you one thing. You are at least saying... Stability and manners are an absolute... You are at least saying it's absolutely true. There's no such thing as absolute truth, which is an absolute statement. I'm not saying it's an absolute truth. I'm saying it's a higher possibility than what you're saying. Fucking right. Excuse me. Okay. Right. If I'm walking down the street and someone accidentally falls into me, trips me over, right? That's one on Monday. On Tuesday, someone intentionally tries to stick their foot out and I don't fall. I'm angry on, at the Tuesday guy, but the Monday guy, I think, well, it's just an accident. They're both doing the same action, but the intention is different. So I feel that one of them is wrong and one of them is blameless. They can't be helped. Because of that, I, I assert that the morality is outside of myself. I'm not subject, everybody would, most probably, they may feel angry at the time when they're on the floor, but they're gonna hold the culprit of Tuesday's events to be blamed. So because of that, and it's a generalized thing, so the Abyssinians, the Egyptians, the Babylonians, the Israelites, they all held that rape or murder of one's mother was wrong. Not because their God told them, because it's an innate part of human nature that you don't, punch old ladies in the face, you don't rape babies, you don't do those heinous things, not because of society. So society in Nazi Germany, that was an absolutely legitimate pastime to kill a Jew. It was legal, it was all absolutely civilly correct, but it wasn't morally right, and the rest of the world noticed that. So I believe that the morality is outside of a subjective nature. I think that there's an absolute standard which we can hope to attain, but not by any natural means, because we are lustful, hateful, idolatrous, uh, dishonest, thieving, raping, um, 
adulterers. Like we've got, we dishonour God, we dishonour, even if we don't believe in him, whatever. <laughs> dishonour our parents, children stab each other, um. trainers, and everyone knows it's wrong. Not because the newspapers tell us or the government decides, yes, actually today you can smoke cannabis, no, you, no, you can't. It's outside of society. Society exists, or civil society exists, to promote the well-being, like you say, of the greater uh, whole. But these objective moralities come yeah. from outside of human humanity because of ourselves we are degraded and debauched and deviant. And that is my statement. All right, so I agree. Under capitalism. Oh, there you go. There you go. Big it's up the socialist worker. Yeah, yeah, Look, right? I agree that it's outside of society, but yeah. it's not outside of humanity. Because this is what I called a while ago the genetic morality that people have developed. And I'll give you an example. You know? For example, the, the to help others, right? To selfless sacrifice for others. It's something genetic for people. But why is that genetic? Damn. Because, uh, bless you. because imagine a situation where a bunch of people are attacked by a pack of wolves. If every single one of them is completely selfish, they will each defend themselves and they will not be able to fight off the wolves. And they will all die one by one. And thus, fighting in a group and risking yourself for the group is better than just being selfish and yeah. not doing anything for Sacrificial the group love. because it's part of evolution because all the people who didn't do that died no all the people who did that did, died did you, all did the people who died example. for their friends well, died on. did you did you hear the example uh, a wolf died. all the if people you fight them individually. all the people who decided to be individual yeah. in a group of cavemen that were being attacked by a wolf pack died because no, they not could all of not them. where's your evidence for the claim because it's logical. Where's your evidence? A, look, logic, if, uh, <laughs> logic presupposes proof. <laughs> yes, I, am, yes. logic, I, I got this video of a bunch true, of cavemen fighting against wolves. You don't have that in your worldview. No, no, I'm saying no, no, that no, the no, big no, 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 The one who successfully look, slays the I think the you guys are not lives. liking the example. So no, you're asking, example. why is it a terrible example? What do you think? Hold on, hold on. What do you think would happen in a group of cavemen that's being attacked by wolves when the cavemen If he had a tool, I think he might win. What's going to happen? No, what's going to happen? The wolf will die. I agree, you're probably right. If there's all I know is all four of them sneeze. Damn. I got I got my mask on, fam. Oh, because you don't like No, 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 it doesn't make sense because he could have believed it. People would die, yes, but that's not the conversation here. A moment ago, a moment ago, you said that if the Germans won, they would make the rules for society and we'd have to follow that. Okay, so, so if, if they make the rules, therefore that's what's right, when they come on your door and kill you and your family, you're still going to say that's wrong. So, <laughs> just just sort of, exactly, because it's wrong for me. It's wrong for you, but yeah. it's right for them, so who's right? Nobody's right. This, Everybody this, has their own this, ideology. But you, the thing is, you don't live like that. No, the thing is, their ideology will not be beneficial for humanity long term. And we can do, use logic to deduce what will happen if the Nazis won. And I gave this example a while ago. You know, they would probably make humanity into an incestuous pool of, uh, you know, all around. But you know, they would start doing incest with each other. It worked fine in Genesis. Huh? It worked fine in Genesis. Yeah, that's why I don't believe in the Genesis. Because everybody would have fucking no, no, arms Cain, growing out of their chest. No, no. Cain if, uh, says to God, don't send me over there, they will kill me. So there must have been a day to kill him. Mm, maybe it's the demons. Maybe, maybe it's the genie. But he's got a mark. So. There's no genie. That's why, him. Do you not see that you've made some logical yeah, uh, errors there? Yeah. For example, when you say there's no such thing as absolute truth, that's an absolute truth statement. No, it's not. No, it's not. You're, so are you not going to have a problem. You're so no, 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 out of probability, not of certainty. It's probable that, that, that it's no possible. Hold truth. on, hold on. It's possible that you're right and I am wrong. And it's also possible that I am right and you're wrong. It's a matter of probability how we perceive the matter of question. Because all we have, all the knowledge that we have comes for us through our senses. And thus probability is the only thing achievable to us. Do you understand what I mean? You you then then why you, okay, if it's all about probability, why are you making absolute true statements? I'm not making absolute true You just true said, you know, you listen, do you not listen? It's a statement follow of probability. Follow, 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 follow close. This is why you're making the logical error. Right. You're saying there is no such thing as absolute truth. Yes. That is absolute that is that, that is an absolute statement. To say there's no such thing as absolute truth, you are at least saying there's no such I am sure that there is such 
sorry, to say there is no such thing as absolute truth, you are at least saying it's absolutely true, there is no such thing as absolute truth, yeah, but that which, is, be which is contradictory. And then you say, we can't, so say, uh, one second, and then you say, no, and, then, and then you say, we can't ambiguous. be certain about anything. To say I can't be certain about anything is contradictory, because when you say I can't be certain about anything, you are at least saying I'm certain that I can't be certain about anything. Your whole entire argument, all due respect this morning, has been t totally contradictory. It really hasn't. It, because you're, so you're, what, your what, idea what, of what I'm saying is that I'm saying I'm certain that I can't be certain. It's not my idea, I'm just going no, 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 to what no. you said. You're saying that I'm certain that I can't be certain about anything. <laughs> And I'm not certain whether I can or not be certain about anything. <laughs> the problem okay. is, yeah, you, you see, you can laugh, you can clap, you can laugh. It shows that you don't understand, okay. understand okay. the argument at No, it shows you don't understand logical errors. You're making, you're making, logical, 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 you're making logical errors. Because I'm telling you something about probability. And you're assuming certain when you don't have certainty on the ground. I can't be sure about something. Give me one thing, one idea. That is absolutely certain that I can't deny by any chance. If I put my head under a car, talking, if I put my head under a car tire, I will die. Yeah, sure. So that's world certain, yes? Might not be certain in another world. Is it going to be certain well, in heaven? So no, is it going no, to no, be certain? No, this is an expert. No, 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 hold on, no, no, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. That's a juvenile argument. It's not a juvenile argument. To say, I know, one second, you just said. Give me it one. Give world. me one statement that's certain. I give you a statement. You agree it's certain, but then you say, "Oh, it might not be the case in another world that we can't see that we doesn't know exists." When Professor Come on, get, didn't get, get the, the argument. Yeah, you know, you're supposed to be an intellectual what, thinker. On the, the goalposts that you're putting in the argument. But you're just widening it. Well, I'm not I'm I'm widening it. No, 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 the thing is, the it's already too wide. Truth is and it's true. not about what. It's, it's, not, it's, not it's not about changing goalposts. Real. It's not about changing goalposts or widening goalposts. I'm saying these are the goalposts you have. You're saying these are the goalposts we can't see, don't know exist, but let's play by that rule. It doesn't make sense. Well, that's not what I'm saying, man. So, what was your argument? You put your head under a car and you die. Is it certain that I would die? That car hits me. If the car hits you? Yes. No, it's not. Because the car's speed might not be big enough this, for you okay, to kill okay, okay. Oh, oh, you no. see. You see. You no, didn't no, no, explain no. it well enough. Okay. Okay. Is it certain? And we can already see it. No, 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 but we can all use common sense and know what I'm talking about. If yes. a car is driving at a good speed, 30 miles an hour, I put my head under the tyre, is it certain that I'm going to die? Yes. This is a judgment. No. Good judgment. And this, this is the problem. Imagine that, imagine that I have a very strong set of judgment armor around me. No, you didn't no, that no, either, no, you? no, so this is nonsense. No, you see, it's not nonsense. You see, you see, I answer, no, no, I, I, I answer the argument, I answer the argument, he's the one now changing the goalpost. Well, okay, it, it, would, kill, it, would, kill, it would kill you, it no would kill you if you'd done this, but if you had a plate of armour around your head, or if you was in another universe, then maybe it wouldn't kill you. Get with it, man, come on. If you were the juggernaut from the X-Men, it would kill you. This is awful argumentation, come on. Oh, is it? I've really? seen you before, you're better than me. By probability, <laughs> you're by probability you, if a car you, is you're fast enough be, and it's heavy enough, you're and supposed your head to be, Pablo, an intellectual thinker. You've made logic error after logic error after logic, logic error, and then you change the goalpost. You commit so many errors. Well, this is absolutely good. Why these things make sense? I, I'm not surprised that you see it the way you see it. Because you, know, you accept the absolute possibility of the existence of your God, even though there's no proof but of the existence of But you accept the possibility because and, and you're an agnostic. Second. And now, and you now you're speaking. The possibility. And now you're speaking. I accept you, the possibility. You're I don't accept the certainty. But you're accusing and that's the him of your own. No, self. I'm accusing him of certainty of something he can't assert. Now, this is a certain claim. He just asserted it. He can't prove it. Saying, no, you're saying. You're, bro, no, no, one, bro, let me finish one second. Do you have, have, are you there? I, no, I, are you there? Let me finish. I'm telling you, God might exist. You're telling me God doesn't exist. Can I finish? Can I finish? You're yeah. saying, you're saying, Ben, you can't, you're, you're saying you could be certain, I'm saying you can't be certain. We're both making, sure. we're both making certain claims. No, at, least, at, least, at least, at least, at least I'm being, at least, at least I'm being consistent in saying, yes, I'm making certain claims. You're saying I'm making no such thing as certain claims. When you are making certain claims. Because I'm you're making logic error. Yeah. You're making a logical error. Bro, okay, Let, let's, let's go by baby steps so we can get Use the Socratic our point method. Yeah. So I'm saying God might exist, but there is no absolute proof to see that God absolutely exists. You're saying God does exist, what about the human and I know that God exists. What, 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 and I'm asking you for proof. Okay, okay. I'm asking you to okay. show me okay. that God exists. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm asking you to give proof of your certainty. Okay, let me give because you I'm telling you that God might exist. Okay, and thus, it's not a certain claim that God does not exist. Let me respond. Let me respond. Yeah. Okay, uh, Pavlov, sorry. Yeah. It's Pavlov, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, Pavlov. Um, you're asking for proof. Does proof presuppose truth? 
Yes. Oh. It must do. Okay. How so can you prove something? You want to know God's truth? So how can you prove something to be true if there's no proof such thing as truth? Proof presupposes perception. No. Proof presupposes no probability. You could show me absolute proof of my proof perception is faulty and I yes, can't yes, see yes. the proof. Okay, let me finish your argument. Yes, let me, let me you finish. see God as the truth. Can I finish my argument? Don't worry about that. Let's just talk about truth. No, why is God the truth? Let me, let me finish my response. Yeah, yeah. You're asking for proof. Let me just put this one more time. Yeah. Proof pre presupposes truth. Otherwise, you can't prove anything to be true. They come, they go hand in hand. Presupposes truth. Truth presupposes God. It presupposes God. Truth presupposes God. Okay, one second. It presupposes God because without God, there is no such thing as truth. Stuff just happens. That's such a bad argument. Look, are all ravens black? No. No, they're not black. Have you no, seen the raven that's not black? Yeah, the baby ones. They're yes. like fluffy. Yeah. Not the baby ones. And they're still the, the ravens. Not that one, but another one. Yeah, but and that's in a different universe. Oh my goodness. There you go, there you go, there you go. Guys, look. Yeah, you've got black guy in Look, my point is, you can't know whether or not all the ravens are black because you haven't seen all the ravens. I just need to life. see one. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You only see to see one. You only need to see one. Yeah. Only to see one all of them are black. I just need to see one brown one. What? No, but what if the one raven you see is black? And you ask, are all ravens I black? I know, I've only seen one. Good. Have you seen all ravens in the world? I've seen one brown one. I know, therefore, well, they're seen, not all you seen, black. Have, have you seen a red raven? This. Okay, have you seen a red raven? A red, no, I've seen a brown yes. one. Yes, good, excellent. Have what you seen you all yes, ravens that exist? Have you seen all ravens that exist? Of course not. Excellent. What about a so you raven? can't know whether or not they are red ravens or not. No, I can't. Same thing applies to God. You don't know everything, and thus you can't know I for certain whether God exists or not. Okay, we're going around the circle. Should we just cut it? Just cut it. Yeah, uh, you, you see how you are. You see how you are. You no. get an argument you don't like. You want to cut it. <laughs> you immediately cut it. Yeah, it's I want the argument. Listen, I can, yeah, hold on. <laughs> I can disprove that all ravens are black with only seeing two hold ravens. On, on. Listen, That's listen. No, I'm giving you a rebuttal. If there's a red I'm raven, speaking. I'm if there's a red you. raven or not, I know what you said. I'm speaking. Is there a red raven or not? Is there a red raven? You haven't seen so it. So you good. haven't seen it. It could be a mutation. You, you haven't seen all ravens. So what's your point? Yeah, My point is, you don't have all knowledge, and thus you can't assert something for certain. No, I don't have all knowledge, but I believe that there is such things as absolute truth. Problem. What's the problem? No, that's not a mic drop moment. It is a mic drop no, moment. No, you are, you don't know no, the mic. Thus, you can't assert certainty. Can we just bring it back you, you cannot one, one, assert certainty one, 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 because Pablo, you don't Pablo, Pablo, Pablo. hold all certainty. Pablo, you don't perceive Pablo, all certainty. Pablo, Pablo. You're saying it's a mic drop moment. The mic drop moment is when I showed you you made about three logical errors in a in a row. That was the mic drop moment. The problem is you are saying that you can't be certain about this. You can't be certain about that. You're, you're making certain claims when you're saying we can't be certain about anything. You're making knowledge claims when you're saying we can't be uh, absolutely sure. No, 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 you're, make, you're making knowledge no, claims. You, you worded you're, it okay, right, that You're so. making knowledge claims when you've given up knowledge. When you say I can't be certain about anything, and there's no such thing as absolute truth, you're giving up knowledge, but then you make knowledge claims. Yeah, but again, you are, again, you're in, again, you're inconsistent. I already admitted that they're okay, not. Do, 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 do you admit that the whole argument you made is inconsistent and log logical? All right, let's not start. No, with no the I admit that my argument is not certain. certain. That he's talking my argument is not absolutely certain, but my Prove argument is more probable than yours. Prove it. Prove, Prove it. it. I told you there's 3.8 billion people believing that. I have proof, of uncertainty. You don't proof have of uncertainty. You don't have proof of certainty. No, in statistical terms, there are more people who hold my view than yours. <laughs> Atheists are absolutely certain of something. Uh, theists are absolutely atheist. certain. I know agnosticism is a very small minority in a global population of people who believe in absolute truth. Yeah, but you're not united in your belief. It doesn't Muslims matter. Believe in it does things. not matter. You in the universe that I'm talking about, it matters that there's absolute non-absolute. Who decided that? Who decided it doesn't matter? Are you the Me. one who decides that? Yes. You decide that? Yes. Are you God? No, I've got statistician uh, qualifications. <laughs> I've got mathematical qualifications. It does really? not matter what the minority of people say. If you are using the probability, doesn't matter. you're using probability, which is statistics, and okay. the minority say this, and the vast majority say this. Therefore, we disregard the minority, okay. unfortunately. Excellent. So the Nazis should kill all the Jews? They were a minority. The Jews the were Nazis, a minority. The Nazis were a minority. No, but the Jews were a minority. But the Nazis were a minority. No, but the Germans voted for the Nazis the in absolute, a democratic election. No, 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 this the is majority voted for them. The absolute truth of your knowledge of your mother's love for you because of a it's chemical weight, truth. because of a chemical reaction that happened, weight, you haven't let me finish, so you don't even know if it's absolute truth. The chemical reaction that induces a feeling in you that makes you 
certain of your mother's affection for you or your affection for her is the same knowledge and affection that I have for God. Therefore, it's not by statistical evidence. It's not by somebody saying to me, it's morally wrong for this. I know in my heart, without the Bible, I know right and wrong. And I know that I, me, I would always walk past a drowning puppy. I wouldn't give a shit if there's a house on fire. But my God, the voice in my head says, you have to save those people. You have to get it out of the river. Because I know that human nature is sinful or just takes the easy you know. option. I know. I've you know seen what you perceive. men stand by when women you are raped on the floor. You know what you perceive. It doesn't you're make you're it certain enough. knowledge. Okay. okay, guys. A very simple question to every single person, whether a believer or not. A being that is not perfect. <laughs> Why should you trust in what that being perceives as certain? But your pre you're you're not, no, 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 why no, should no. you trust what an uncertain being that doesn't know no, everything one second, perceives one as certain? Past experience. Why should you perceive past experience? Past experience. Wait, 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 experience. Wait, wait, so is past experience 100% trustworthy? Yeah. Your recollection Just, of events. No, yeah, I not, guess. Yeah. No, it's not, it's not, it's you're you're saying can we trust an imperfect yeah. being? If someone has never lied, why do you suppose they're lying? How oh, do you know if they've never lied? Because it's been verified to you. You've it's seen been verified this. Verified by whom? By other they're imperfect telling you, beings. There's a red raven over there. Jesus. And you'll believe them. I saw it with my own eyes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, we're kind of short of stuff. Sure, anyway, short, you see this nonsense? Yeah. You'll need to yeah. repent. No, 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 Come to Christ. Yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> Auntie Kate's going to be very cross. Look at her going for the camera. You know, <laughs> go for those views. Look at that, you know, middle finger of Look maturity. <laughs> what's your last words? No, the last words. That, that's a good no, question, guys. The last no, words. Okay, okay. I'll say this. you want to do. Think about which one of our arguments has been more consistent. The man who makes, all due respect, the man who makes logical error our logical error yeah. he says there's no such thing as certainty we can't be certain about anything which is contradictory because when you say i can't be certain about anything you are at least saying i'm certain that i can't be certain about no, anything no, which is contradictory he says there's no such thing as absolute truth which is again contradictory to say there's no such thing as absolute truth you are at least saying it's absolutely true there's no such thing as absolute truth which is contradictory so which one of our worldviews is more consistent i'll let you decide you know i'll say something too the people who don't want you to think will always give you answer the people who do want to think will ask you questions and my question to you is why should you trust an imperfect being on what that imperfect being receives a certain and undoubtful knowledge. <laughs> Think about that for a second.